I just want to say, um, yes, it is Wajak Nuna land. It always has been and always will be Nuna land. I want to acknowledge those elders past and present, but also I want to acknowledge the elders and activists in the LGBTIQ community because if it weren't for their work over many, many years, we wouldn't enjoy some of the freedoms that we enjoy today. There's, this has been a long journey and we still have more to go. I gotta say there are two things today that we need to achieve. One of them is the freedom to marry those people we love. And the other thing, of course, is to make our schools safe. And that's what today is about. And I can say to you without any hesitation that this is the biggest crowd that we've had marching for safe schools in the Murray Street Mall. Good on you. Today, joining me in the march today are two other Greens that have been elected to state parliament, the Honorable Allison Zaman and the Honorable Tim Clifford. Good on you for coming and marching with us today. As a student growing up in America, I can tell you that I wasn't out and I didn't suffer bullying and discrimination. But some of my friends did. They were ostracized, some were homeless, and two of my friends didn't go on to school to higher education because they felt uh, they just couldn't achieve anything. They were very capable and smart, but they didn't go on to higher education. And some went, were homeless. Um, I got to say that as a member of parliament, I was a member of parliament for eight years and I met many students who did suffer bullying at school and felt bullied. Uh, but there were some students who were in good school environments with excellent leaders who actually taught the whole school to respect them rather than ridicule them. And that's the position that we want all schools in WA to go into. I guess I disagree with Sue in that regard. I don't think it should be optional to have safe schools. I think every school should have to be safe. And the way to do that, the way that we're going to do that is not only to get the state minister for education on side, which is Sue, but also the federal government. Right now, the federal government funds the Safe Schools program. That's the funding that's at risk, and that's the funding that our senators are fighting hard to secure alongside the labor senators. So today, that's what our message has to be, that the federal government continue to fund safe schools. And I know this is an issue, because working as a member of parliament, the Equal Opportunity Commission, the Freedom Center, Living Proud, they're homelessness services, there are a range of services that provide evidence that there is bullying, discrimination, there is high youth suicide, and this has to stop. Every student should have the right to have a safe school and to not feel fear and intimidation. We can make that happen. That's what today's about. And I want to thank the organizers, Oscar, great job uh, for inviting me to speak. And I'm going to join you on the march as always. Uh, let's make our schools safe.